What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of This Week in MXA presented to you by O'Neill Racing. For this one, we're gonna throw it back to Glenn Helen when we asked five funny questions to all the pro riders that we could find. For this video, we had to dig through the MXA archives for the, some long lost footage that we almost forgot about. So this is completely unseen footage, but I gotta tell you guys, it was shot last year, September 15th, 2020. So the guys were still in the middle of the outdoor season. They were getting ready to ride at the Millville National on Saturday. This was shot during a Tuesday practice session at Glen Helen. Justin Barsha was still on a Yamaha. Max Boland was still an amateur. Levi Kitchen, he hadn't signed with the Star Racing Yamaha team yet, so he was still riding as an amateur under the Cycle Trader Rock River team. Will Hahn was with Yamaha. Shane McArath was with Yamaha. A lot of things have changed since then. Even Mike Alessi was there. He was riding and getting ready for the World Vet Nationals, so lots of cool guys, and there's some pretty funny questions. A lot of these guys are pretty similar. Um, it's kind of scary how close and how similar they are, but I guess they all do the same thing. You know, we ride, train, race, and hang out with each other. So uh, some of the questions and some of the answers are pretty similar, but it was still a really funny video. Check it out, never before and seen footage from last year. What's your best off season meal? Fish and chips in the UK. Hot uh, dessert. Uh, dessert would be um, Houston's restaurant. They got a, a Sunday, and I was uh, super tempted about it last night, but I didn't do it. Uh, definitely a lot of pasta, uh, just like pizza, since I'm, I'm gluten free, so I like to go all out. And maybe go to like Italian restaurant, all garden, get the floor of Italy, and just hang out on breadsticks, and just get like a huge chocolate cake afterwards, and a big chocolate guy's there. Thank you. Pizza. Pizza. It's tough. Pizza is always a good offer. It would either have to be pizza or chicken alfredo from Olive Garden. Really? <laughs> okay. What was it? Chicken alfredo with breadsticks. Yeah. I mean, I love pizza, but Taco Bell's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, probably like Taco Bell or like uh, like the chips from like the gas station. I don't know. Let's see. I got a few actually, but I'll probably go. With, I'll probably go with yeah, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. That's solid. Solid. Yeah. Cheat day meal. Chick Fil A. Oh, dude. <laughs> what he said. That is good. <laughs> yeah, Chick fil A. The Chick fil A double Chick fil A sauce, too. Just oh. dip everything in. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chick fil A. Uh, number two, some chicken nuggets and the french fries with the lemonade. There you go, right there. It's a combo. I mean, Chick, Chick fil A Oreo shakes are probably like the go to. Uh, for sure, Dairy Queen. That's a, that's a given, especially where I live in Florida. I only live like literally five minutes from Dairy Queen, so Oreo, Blizzard, and uh, Butterfinger, you can't beat that. Especially when it's like pretty much 100 degrees starting March 1st, so that's easy for me. Cheap meal, I'd have to say In-N-Out. That's kind of my go-to meal, double-double fries and an iced tea. Best cheap meal, some kind of burger. Pretty plain though. Like, you are saying I have stuff plain, so if I have a burger or something, I literally just have the meat on the back. That's it. The Travi patty. The Travis Scott meal. Uh, I was going to say that, but probably just any uh, Mexican food. I would say probably like a, a good burger. Honestly, like it's, it's not that bad. Other than like I guess the cheese and stuff on it, but uh, the Enfuego burger at Bushfire, that one is like, it's not necessarily like a cheat day meal, but sometimes like I'll have that as my red meat or something, but uh, I, a good burger is hard to beat. Yeah, you need at one restaurant for the rest of your life, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or the beat. Oh man, sheesh. It's a weird scratch in there. One restaurant. Um, I would probably pick uh, True Foods. Yeah, you get a little bit of everything there. All car. Is that, is that wrong? Same answer because you get the bottomless breadsticks. You got stupid salad, free, so I feel like it's a little cheaper. Uh, I'm gonna go with Sushi. Any like so out here, there's like all you can eat. Sushi, sushi's in. Sign me up. I'm serious. I, like I love sushi. Subway. I already eat there pretty much. I'm a big sandwich guy, so maybe Jersey Mike's. If I'd eat one restaurant the rest of my life, 
Man, let's go with in and out again. Why not? If I had to eat it, let's do it. <laughs> this stuff, you know, I went to the Cheesecake Factory recently and their menu is like insane. They got so much stuff, it's all pretty good. So probably there, and I'd get cheesecake every night. So cheesecake for the rest of Vince's life. I could have many gains 100 pounds in the next year. It's not like my favorite spot or anything by any means, but it's, it's just, it's just, they got everything. Yeah. Cheesecake Factory. It made you so big, like I don't think you could always eat it. Raisin Cane's or Zaxby's. Breakfast, One of the two. Lunch Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, the sauce there. Oh, drink it. Probably have to be Chipotle. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't open until 10 30, but sometimes I'm there at 10 30. <laughs> Chipotle, but can you get breakfast there? I mean, you'd have to have a burrito for breakfast. Yeah, that Chipotle. No doubt. Chipotle. That's good. Cracker Barrel. That's a good one. Old Market Grill. What'd you get? Dude, everything. Everything on the menu is good. That's good. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's, that's the thing. That's fair. <laughs> Justin nailed it, dude. Old Market Grill? Yeah. Dude, you literally can't beat it. Yeah, their breakfast, lunch, and dinner at OMG's. It's too good. What would be your dream job if you weren't racing motocross? Um, to be a pilot for myself. <laughs> I mean, or I would, I could pilot for some rich guy as well, I suppose, on a big jet, but I'd rather pilot for myself as a job. But that's not really a job, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. With the lotto? That's not the job. Yeah, I don't know. With, with the lotto and then, uh, that's not really a job. Yeah, no job. No job's ideal. How much? Dream jobs, no job. Uh, dream job, if I wasn't racing motocross, would probably be a school bus driver. Why? Oh, I don't know. It's just cool. I just drive around in a school bus all day. Like, what's up? Like, pick people up, drop people off. I don't know. Seems solid. Dream job if I wasn't doing motocross. Uh, you know, I'd like to. F <laughs> I suck at golf, but I would really like to be good at golf. Uh, it takes a lot of precision and you know, obviously technique. And it's just something that I've never been good at. And I always seem to find that it's, it would be fun to do. Uh, race Formula One. Yeah. I suppose maybe like a Formula One driver or any kind of like rally rally kind of driver would be cool. And probably flying, honestly. Being a pilot, just get to travel, just so get to travel the world. And you get to see the scenery. Surfer. <laughs> probably be a pro fisherman. Be on the water all the time. Mine no, would be being a fly fishing guide. Because I like fishing a lot. To be honest, I don't really know. I'd probably just play uh, probably basketball and football. Football. Football, football, football player. Yeah, I'm pretty big, so. What team would you want to play for? Well, I'm from, um, obviously, from New Jersey, so I like the Giants, but they're not that good. So, probably the Patriots, maybe. Yeah, what's your dream vacation? Go anywhere, spend as much money, whatever you want. Oh. Private jet to an island, like where you can like go out on the sleep, like on the water in one of those sick like cabana things. So yeah, just just unlimited money. Perfect. I want to spend like a hundred grand at, like a night. <laughs> I want to go to Bora Bora, and I've never been there before, so that's one that's a bucket list thing right there. I really want to go to I forget the name of it. Uh, like those little huts over the water. Uh, place where Bora Bora is, it's not French Polynesia. That's it. Yeah, I would like to go there. Uh, yeah. Geez, what's that country? Uh, in, like the beach and stuff. Uh, like one of one of the twelve island countries. That's fair. Dream vacation. I'd have to say somewhere tropical on an island somewhere where I can just chill out, surf. But I have to have stuff to do. I can't just sit around and hang out. I gotta be able to mountain bike, surf, something. I forgot the name of the place, but where you walk out on the docks and you have that those houses where you just you know get out of bed, walk out, and jump off the dock into the ocean. <laughs> really? I mean, that's what just comes to mind. I've never been to it. So. I haven't been there yet, but I'm gonna go for my roommate's birthday. I think. Go to Cabo. Let's go to Cabo. I need I need water. I need some chicks. I need I need to be at Margaritaville. Like that type of vibe, like chilling, like a starfish on the beach. That's that's me. Probably go to like Hawaii or something. Go snorkeling, surf. I like surfing. So yeah. I like I like Hawaii. I've been on a big Hawaii kick since we went last year, and I've got I'm getting into surfing a little bit. And I like watching those guys surf. 
So I'd love to go. I'd love to go when the waves are big, which we never get to do a vacation on in the winter. So probably Kauai in the winter to watch them do the big waves. Here. I've been to Kauai before, so gotta say that's pretty much one of the best places I've been to Kauai, and then also uh, New Zealand's pretty cool too. So anywhere around in New Zealand or Kauai, is like, I really want to go to New Zealand to fly fish as well. So yeah. Works. Supercross or motocross and why? Which one would you rather do? Um, that, that's always a tough one for me. Uh, motocross, I like it because you can hang it out. It kind of suits my style. But supercross, a little more like publicity and like kind of get out more mainstream. So they both have their goods and bads. But I, I mean, I love motocross. Love seven hard. <laughs> oh, supercross for sure. Supercross. That's my strong suit. And shit, chicks dig it. <laughs> supercross because they have loops. <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's be honest. I'm way better at motocross than supercross. Everybody knows supercross is always tough for me with the whoops, but you know, in my career, I always got a little bit better at supercross with the whoops, and for obviously more reasons than not to be motocross. But I always enjoyed supercross. I just it wasn't naturally talented or gifted at it. I had to work harder at it. Uh, supercross just because the vibe and fans, like just the environment totally. I would have to say Supercross over Motocross. I, I think it comes more naturally to me. It's kind of, I don't know, it's outdoors I had to kind of work at it a lot more. Supercross was always a little more natural. I, I like both. It's it's like when you're on Motocross, you like Supercross, and then when you're on Supercross, you're, you're over and you're ready to go to Motocross. But I think I like Supercross a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more technical. You get uh, the stadiums, all the fans, and. Uh, more of an experience, I feel. All right, guys, so that was pretty fun asking these guys the random questions. They're always asked the typical questions of how was your weekend? What, what do you think about the bike? What do you need to change to be better? They're always asked the same questions. We thought it'd be funny to run around asking them random questions. It's definitely been done before. This isn't original, but it was still a good time doing it. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the video and who you thought was the funniest, had the funniest answers to their questions. And let me know who are you most similar to out of the guys that we interviewed in this video. So thanks for watching. If you like what we got coming on here at Motocross Action, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest videos. And then also click to get a notification for when we upload new videos as well. So that's how you can stay up to date with us there. Also check out motocrossactionmag.com. We got bike tests, product tests, race results, the latest news going on in the industry and more. So we're always updating our website and check out at motocross action mag on Instagram as well. And if you have some more time, click the thumbnails now to see some of our more recent videos.